If you're using Olama on a BPS and you want to know how to use the API to automate the AI usage from your installation, let me show you how on this video. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and on this video, I'm going to show you the API settings to launch your AI automation usage using Olama. Now this Olama is installed on a BPS and it's using Hostinger's BPS, which is super easy to use. Now, in this case, I will be using Public Connect as the API setup, but you can use any automation software out there that has API option available, okay? Now, before I show you how to set it up, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. So if you're looking for a BPS plan to install Olama and start using unlimited AI usage with API, this is the way to go. Now, go to services, BPS hosting, and in BPS hosting, we're going to be able to find the BPS plans. In this case, I would recommend KBM 8, since this might be resource intensive, depending on the AI model that you're going to use. If it's gonna be light use, a really small AI model, KVM2 would be the way to go. But in this case, KVM8 would be the best choice. Now, once you're here, Hostinger is going to ask you how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 24 months. You're gonna lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, plus you'll be good to go for two years. Now, this is the current price, but if you click on have a coupon code and type in my code, which is SAS Master, the price is gonna drop to $431.78. That's for two years paid off, and it's a powerful BPS, so do consider that, okay? Now, for the setup process. So in this case, I'm gonna use the API system from Public Connect, but again, if you are using any other automation software out there that has API, you can go ahead and follow the same steps, okay? So basically, the same details will apply. So in this case, it's not a get, we are gonna use post, and in post, we're gonna use the API endpoint URL. That URL is the one provided by your hosting installation. Either you use the custom domain or you're gonna use the IP. In this case, I'm gonna use the IP. So let's go ahead and paste it in here. Now be aware that you're going to need to add this to your link. This will be your own IP or your own custom domain and you will be adding the following to this, okay? So here we go. Now we're going to add parameters. First par parameter is gonna be model and in this case, the model that you're going to use is the one that you have installed on Olama. You'll find them over here in the, the admin panel, settings, models, and these will be the models that you have installed. If you haven't installed it, you can go ahead and do so right here by adding the model, right? So in this case, I'm gonna use Pi Mini Latest. Let me go ahead and grab this. Let's go over to Pabli. Let's use that for the model. Here we go. Now we are gonna set the next label, which will be the prompt and I'll use something really basic here, but you can use your own, plus you can use parameters that you received in the past for the prompt. So it could be different, it could be variables, etc. So let me go ahead and add the prompt here. Okay, so that's gonna be my prompt, create a 100 word post about Public Connect API feature, okay? And the last label that we're gonna use here is the uh, stream, and it's gonna be set to false, okay? So here we go, this is the model that we're gonna use, this is the prompt, and yes, you can use the variables from the automation system that you're going to use, in this case, Pabli. I'm gonna set the test request and it should kick in the AI using my own Olama model that's in a BPS. Here we go, we just got the results. Let's find out here and here it is. Introducing the new Pabli Connect, RESTful API, uh, details about it and it just wrote it for me really fast and easily with no rate limiting, no middleman, and no cost per token used. I can have unlimited usage because I am hosting the large language model here on Olama in ABPS. So that's how easy it is to set up your API with your Olama installation with AI models. So definitely give it a go. I definitely recommend it for your automations so you're not paying a month to month usage or token usage for other AI language models that this is definitely good to go. You can even install DeepSeq V3, you can Gemma 3, the latest models from the uh, Olama, but do be aware that if you select the big models, you do need to have a really fast response for the API usage. So just consider that. But there you go. I hope you like this video. Please let me know here in the comments what you think about installing Olama on a VPS and start using unlimited AI usage. And that's a wrap.